Shoo! Welcome back, folks. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day, enjoying it with family, friends, and good food. Today's episode, well, we are gonna be doing the beefcake version of Thanksgiving. We're gonna, uh, we we're gonna mix it up. Last year, we did a huge Thanksgiving special, all right? We did where we got turkeys. What else did we cook? We cooked all sorts of stuff last year. Mashed our, potatoes. Our long banger. Yeah, oh, well, we harvested our own turkey, yes. is what we did. So we went to the auction. That's when we bought our first, we were gonna kill Tom. Rip, he, he actually, died we, he died anyway. Oh, uh, should have just ate him. Anyway, no, not really, he was chill. But then we to the auction and got turkeys yeah catch we had two turkeys we had one from the store oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay this them. is a year ago so bear with me here we compared a store-bought versus wild we also had a bunch of side dishes it was an hour-long banger all right but this year i'm like how could we step it up all right now we have ed i like ed eddie eddie could go honestly i could i could i could say goodbye to eddie without having too many issues the only problem is they're too freaking big we've had them for too long they're too big we've we've tried frying deep frying a very very large turkey before doesn't really work out so we're we're thinking, okay, so we go to the store, we can get turkeys. That's not really that cool. What if we changed it all in every single dish or entree, I guess you could call it. We might have some side dishes that don't fall into this category, but what if everything that we cook today for a huge feast is stuff that we've harvested ourselves, uh, mostly being wild game, but also we've got pigs, cheese and rice. Yep. Those guys are delicious. They are. And so we, we actually, I don't think I've really showed you guys, we maybe cooked one thing before of cheese and rice. Bacon. Was it bacon? Yeah, yeah, bacon. We've done bacon that's for it, so. cheese and rice, but that's pretty much it. And so today we are going to try to do a couple other cuts of meat from cheese and rice, but then the rest of it is going to be actual wild game. Deer, pheasant, duck, goose, maybe raccoon. We don't have frog legs, we don't have fish. The one thing we don't have though, of those things, is goose. We have not shot a goose yet this year. So that's why we're starting the day off of the farm. I'm in camo, banjo's looking thick as hell. Buddy didn't bring like real I blend camo. in. I yeah, blend what, into the yeah, what, were, what were you thinking? I, would, I have a duck's coat for you, a brown duck's coat. There you go, Jimmy. Thank now, you, see, now you. you're looking good. You're gonna be warm. Now I'm gonna be blending. And I'm you're gonna, gonna blend little, in a little, little, a little, little bit better. Fun. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, you yeah. got it. You got it. So, like I said, we're out here at the farm. The reason being, well, we actually came out here a little bit late. It's not prime time. We're on goose duty. That's the only thing we don't have. We've got ducks. We have pheasants. We have deer, pig. Maybe well, raccoon. I've got traps out. We haven't checked the traps yet this morning. If we have a raccoon, we can eat it. Otherwise, we'll just scrap the, that idea. Um, but the goose is the only one we'll have. So instead of cooking a whole turkey, like a roasted turkey, we're going to roast a whole goose. You know, somewhat equal size, similar size. So anyways, that's what I'm blabbering up. But you guys at home, I know you guys are looking for the deals. The Black Friday, the Cyber Monday, all that. You're looking for the deals. Well, I can tell you, link down below. You go to guggensquad.com and use promo code DANGLE and you can save on all things on the website. That is the Black Friday sale. Like I said, I, I'm not going to describe each and every single product. Different categories have different deals. But if you're looking for, to save some money on all your good fishing gear, googlesquad.com, link down below using promo code DANGLE. Check it out, Black Friday. Get yourself self something or get it for a friend or a family member for the holiday season, whatever it might be. But since it's Thanksgiving, Black Friday being tomorrow, that's the sale. So code DANGLE, that, that'll, that'll wipe out a bunch off the website, give you a nice discount. So, you seen any yet? During this intro, I was hoping I'd actually see a couple. Oh, right, goodness. You see how high they are? You're gonna need the old 50 guy. Dude, those are like miles away. Those low, there's a low group though. So a lot of these, a lot of the, the geese, they land in these fields, but they like the water over there, the old riverbed that we've been hunting. They might be going down to the, I think what, here's what we're gonna do. This is not a hunting video, okay? Normally you throw your decoys out, you, you play by the rules. Today we're just looking for a goose. We're running, gunning, we're water swatting, we're jumping. We don't care, there's no rules, okay? This is harvest. This is about hunting for meat, not just hunting for the sport. Yeah, we, we just need one. We don't need a limit. So if we see a goose in the water, we're gonna water swap that sucker and send we brought lucy so she can go get it he's also in waders but we're not sure how deep it is so anyways that's the plan objective number one for the thanksgiving special is get a goose down on the ground then we're gonna go home we're gonna lay out all the other meats and we're gonna we're gonna go hard though this isn't just bacon wrap it throw it on the grill or franks and flour and throw it in the fryer like we're gonna go bougie with all the dishes wild game and let you guys know what we think and that's gonna be the beefcake thanksgiving meal feast for you guys to enjoy. So that being said, we're gonna jump in the mule. I say we just start driving that way until we start seeing birds and hope we can find a goose. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. Lucy, you excited, pal? We got your vest on, you're ready to rock and roll. So, we just saw a bunch of geese. Oh, there's ducks right there, too. I mean, I'll shoot a duck, too. I don't care. Well, let's go down here. We just we just spooked a bunch of geese. We're hoping they're gonna come back. But what they're doing is they're flying from one side of the property to that. Lu Lucy, hey, where are you going? Why are you running? Come back here, come on. All right, we're gonna go sit in this corner. There's some nice tall, uh, like brush looking stuff that uh, we can kind of sit in and 
We're just gonna see. I said it, it may work, it may not. We'll give it probably 20 minutes. If we don't see any birds come over, we'll keep driving. Um, but these, so far, these were only, this is the only spot that we saw birds. Like, so we spooked some up. We're hoping they just kind of circle back or some other ones like this area as well. Oh, I hear them. Oh, they're right here, bro. They're right here. Hey, let's go this way, this way, this way. So what they do is they fly right above these trees. So we're going to use these trees for cover. We got to be over there. All right, let's move. We got to go that way. That's where they're coming. Dude, those were like very shootable geese. We just, if they flew over 50, we were 50 yards to the right. Dude, we got so close. I say we just crouch really low in this tall grass. Lucy, you excited? You gotta get a goose, buddy. Goose might be bigger than her. These are Canada's. These are big daddies. So, I think we're just gonna hide in this little brush and see if we can get them to come right over and give it the old wham bam. Well, folks, it's been 30 minutes. We, we just missed it. Just freaking missed it. We haven't seen a bird since. So, we're gonna go ahead and drive. We haven't gone down south, so we're gonna run down south where our south duck hunting blind is that we've made some videos at and see if there's birds there and if we find any, try to sneak up on them. But man, those were the perfect, it would have been perfect right here, but nothing's been flying. So, Lucy, we gotta go find a goose, buddy. The goose might be about as big as you, but let's see what we can do. There's one. Hey, there's one right here. We got him. We got him. Lucy, we gotta get Lucy. Lucy, dead bird. Dead bird, Lucy. Go get him. Fetch. Fetch. There she goes. Look at her. Fetch it up. Bring it back. Come on. Come on, Lucy. Let's go. Good dog. Oh my, look how big that goose is compared to She has to her. one feather in her she mouth. She literally just grabbed the butt feather. Come on, Lucy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. She's pit. Look, she can't even hardly turn her neck. That's crazy. Good girl. That thing's bigger than her. Look at that. Good girl, Lucy. Lucy, come here. Bring it up. Oh, come on. Look, she didn't even know what to do with it. Good girl. Good girl. Bands? Nope. No bands. Good girl, Lucy. Good size. Look at that. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you think? He, he's going to taste pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's big, dude. He's heavy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. We're actually right next to our hunting line, which is crazy. We were all the way on the north side, and I was like, you can see where we have a path cleared out right here. So that's what we looked. I saw the, we were walking down there and I saw it. So I was like, let's just sneak up in this gap. And he was literally just sitting right there. One single honk. I think it's the lucky the decoy. Lucky decoy. That thing's so heavy. Well, we got a little honk daddy down. Luce, she did great. I wasn't sure. I was kind of nervous. I, I don't think she, no, she hasn't retrieved a goose yet. This would be her first goose. Yeah, this would be her first goose. Good dog. Goose. I was a little bit nervous. I mean, it's not the biggest goose, but it's, I mean, it's, not How much light. do you think that thing weighs? 10? Yeah, probably. 10 pounds? 10, eight, 10 12 eight, pounds? 10 pounds. That's a, that's a big bird. It's going to be pretty close to, I mean, it's going to be a little smaller than, than our turkey, but not by much. Not by much. Wow. We got lucky. You, you guys can probably hear it. The amount of specks out here, the geese, speckle belly geese are, is insane. But we got lucky. We got one honk daddy down. That's all we needed. This is all we needed. Well, it was almost like it was meant to be. Like, what are the odds there's one goose just, out just here? Chilling. He's just chilling. We saw some down there and down there, but like, he was literally sitting in front of the blind. Should've, we should have just hunted the blind this morning. Yes. But honk daddy down. We're gonna take this guy. Like I said, we're gonna cook him completely whole, um, which means we're gonna you know take all the feathers off and gut him and stuff like that, which we've never done before. But this is our main course. Instead of a turkey, we got a delicious goose. We will uh, we'll see you guys back at home. Shee Look at all that banjo. That's oh. harvest season. This is the goose. Plucked it. First time ever plucking a goose. It was work. It was work. Then it we've got work. a duck. Plucked the duck. We got deer. Deer meat. I'm not sure what chunk that came off of, but that's one of our deer that we shot. Probably gonna grow that up. Pheasant. A whole thing. It looks like it looks like nice boneless chicken. Pheasant. And then this is the smoked yeah, ham. Big. Well, actually, there's two of them in here. Big piece of ham. So that's gonna be what we've got. Well, that's five total. Plus, what did you get for size, man? So they were on basically grocery duty. Yeah, I did not. You dipped out. Oh. He didn't go. No, Banjo wanted a haircut, so I was like, you can get your Damn, nice haircut. fade. Yeah. I like a cut, G. All right, anyways, what is this? King Hawaiian rolls. Okay, the cool. Wait, all right, keep going, keep going. Bob Evans, where's my mashed potatoes? Oh, I put them in the fridge. Oh, uh, okay, we uh, have mashed potatoes in the fridge, and we got stovetop, stuff. turkey, yeah. stuffing, classic. Oh, Bunch of other cool. stuff here. What else we got? Just for you. Oh, sparkling blush. Love it. That's non-alcoholic, by the way, in yeah. case you're not that it would matter, but it's not. So, here we go. We This is going to be a long night. What time we got? Six o'clock, perfect. We'll be done by midnight. So, we're 
gonna start with the item that's gonna take the longest, which is an entire goose. This is the goose we just shot, completely plucked, clean, ready to rock and roll. So I put banjo on recipe duty as well. I said, yep. this, you gotta be in charge of the food. So we're doing a- Roasted, roasted grilled. grilled. goose yep. glaze. Yes, maple glaze. Maple glaze goose on the grill. Yep. The whole thing, this whole thing is gonna go on the grill. So we're gonna start with this. Once that goes on the grill, we're gonna work on this. Once that goes on the grill, we're gonna probably, which one do you think would take longer? Cause we're gonna, we're thinking wrapping this guy in bacon. Bacon wrapped pheasant, sounds delicious. This is, I'm gonna cook just like a steak. Probably about the same, you think? Cause how long do you think that this guy would like take? like five, 10 minutes on like the stove top. Yeah. And you put it in the oven for like 10 minutes or something. So, so I, maybe let's start with the pheasant. I think I can cook yeah. that steak faster than yeah. that. Pretty close to the same. So start with goose, duck, pheasant, deer, pig and then we'll have all of our side dishes and they'll all be ready to rock and roll so this thing's supposed to take like two-ish hours yeah two, two maybe three half. hours it's gonna be a long night um but so starting it off we're gonna take this guy let's go ahead and get in there and get after it you like that yeah that's good all right pass this off to you so i can get my hands dirty here there's a couple hairs there nah that's texture extra flavor all right so we need to what do we need to do season first? Him. season so what we're gonna be using for seasoning, of course, ducks all meat seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and just just give it a healthy dosing. Is that what you're kind of saying? That's inside out, so. Inside and out? Yeah, I don't know why. Like, why would you season the inside? It's not like you <laughs> That's eat, what it's saying. You don't eat the inside. All right, we're just gonna give it one of these little baths here. Rub it all in, give the old flip. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be good, I like that. Oh yeah, season it up. Would use the old wild game, but I think for the, for you don't want it to be too strong since you're going with the maple glaze. This is a little bit more tame. The all meat's a more tame, universal for all meat. The wild game's really good. If I wasn't gonna put a glaze on this, I would definitely throw some of the wild game on it, but I don't wanna overpower it before we put the glaze on it. So I think that's, looks seasoned to me. What do you think? Yeah. Now, what do we do with that? Put it inside it. Just like that. Yep, you gotta cut it oh, out. Oh, you gotta cut it out, okay. All right, half apple, is that what you're thinking? Did you wash these? Nope. Perfect. Okay, yeah. I don't know what this does, but I think it's just to make it look bougie. You think so? Because how are you gonna taste it if it's inside? I don't know. I just about cut my whole oh, hand off. Why? Just about cut my entire hand off. You're telling me I need to pick this goose up and give her a yeet. Into the main cavity. That's the cavity. Like, are you supposed to like take these apples out and chew them later? Like, you think they'd be extra flavorful or not? I'm not going to, but you can. I mean, I'm good, I don't, I don't need to do that. Give her one of these guys, give her the old toss. Okay. And then an onion, I feel like an onion just doesn't follow. Like, I feel like when yeah. you throw a banana or something in there. Like, it, <laughs> banana. I mean, dude, tell me, tell me goose banana wouldn't be fire. It might start tearing up. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. I think this is the proper way to cut it. Nah, that's definitely it, yeah. <laughs> Just like an apple, right? Isn't Take that, a bite. Isn't that how people uh, no. cut up onions? No. Give her the old yeet. <laughs> We're just leaving the skin on it. You're not gonna eat it. No. All right, she's stuffed. Look at that. She's down in there nice and good like. All right, that's it. Throw her on the grill. Grill's hot. Grill's hot, 350. Let's take it outside. Chee! Hot grill. Goose coming in hot. Oh God, yeah. All right. Well, see you guys in an hour. I'm just kidding. We got the rest of it to cook. So after about an hour, then we got. We're gonna have to make a glaze at some say, point. Do you want to make the glaze now, or let's make the glaze now. Okay, let's just let's get, get the goose figured up. out, set it off to the side, then move on to the duck. Boom! Here we are. We're ready to make the glaze. I melted one tablespoon of butter already in there. Now we've got this is apple. So just apple juice. Yeah, just apple juice. It sure it's not apple. No, it's apple cider. That's definitely cider. Right? I have to, I have to Am I crazy? I feel like this, apple juice is clear. This is this is, this is, this is apple cider. You're telling it me it looks the same. same. Buddy told me this was apple juice. I think it's Buddy, like would you ask the Walmart employee where yeah, the apple juice is? Because there was no apple juice, and he was like, oh, right there. And I was like, okay. I mean, this would be gas. Honestly, this would be it says for apple juice. So this must be like legit. Like, this isn't like your. It says pure pressed. Yeah, so but you know what I mean. Like apple juice is normally like like piss color, or yeah. you know a little bit darker. But this is like, anyways. Hey, how's it going? One cup of whatever apple concentrate thing this is. But this, honestly, this would be a better for the glaze than like if you got that like that cheap, liquid yeah. cheap stuff. You is this yours? Or is no, this it's one? not mine. I didn't bring it. This is yours. I bought it when Macy gave me that. Big organic guys or what? I think all maple syrup is organic. Yeah, how could it not be, right? It just comes from a yeah. tree, I think. One cup. It's a lot of maple syrup. Yeah, it is. This is our glaze. So Rip. Rip. All right, there goes your maple scissor. And that's it. Yeah, stir it and put it on after like an hour. Now, let me ask you a question. If you melt butter, is butter melted at room temp or is it solid? Melted at room temp. <laughs> that just blew his mind. Butter, okay. At room temperature, is it a liquid or a solid? I'm gonna go liquid. <laughs> let me ask you one more solid? time. Huh? Butter. Like you ever seen like a stick of butter yeah, on the table? Okay, just, yeah, it's and solid. Yeah, it's solid, right? Yeah. Okay. 
I'm, my question is, my question is, I took a tablespoon of butter and melted it. Yeah. But if I let this thing cool off to room temp, does the butter get chunky? Was I guess is where I was going with it. No. It, won't. it just oh, okay. stays liquid. Yeah. That was way too complicated. I was like, why are you asking like that? Okay. You just thought this was gonna get like I just, solid? Yeah, like I feel like people would like mix it and then dump it. So oh. I was worried like we're gonna have to wait oh. an hour. Like would it get chunky? Oh. You don't think so? No. All right, Maisie cooks it's... more than all of us combined, so we're gonna go with the old no. Mix it up. Dude, I Loki want to drink this. Give it a shot, mate. It's not gonna hurt. There's like oh. like the butter is like crystallizing. That's what I'm saying. When it gets cold, right? I mean, I could, I maple could drink apple cider. Yeah, maple apple cider. Yeah, I wasn't too bad. Anyways, glaze complete. Set that off to the side. We are on. Why are my dogs throwing bones? Look at it. What's this dog? Flip. Fetch. I heard that's good to throw on the floor. Hey, this is life-proof flooring. All right. I got it. It's beefcake proof. Actually, is what it's called. So, duck. Roasted mallard duck. Roasted. So this is oven. So yep. we're going grill, oven, stove top. I think that's all we're using. But anyways, keep going. What, so how do you, what do you do with this thing? Preheat your oven to 400. 400? Yep. Preheating. All right, now what? All right, pat it or dry and season it. Yep. So what do you, are you wanting to mix it up or what's what's going on in this one? Are we going, are we going all meat again? just tells you to do salt and pepper. So, do you... so we're doing all meat because yeah. all meat's better than salt and pepper. So pat or dry. And then season it, and then what? Yep. So you're gonna put the vegetables inside of it. Why is why is everybody shove stuff everything up its ass? It's different stuff. Every this time. single look. Oh, now big stalks of celery. Got it. Okay, making sure. And a little onion too. Oh, an onion. Okay. All right. It's everything. Hey, if you guys want to cook a duck or a goose, you just gotta shove things up its butt. I and guess. Then, so we're gonna do it in this pan. You're gonna put some okay. apple cider like in it. Okay. And okay. It's gonna be in that. And then you lay bacon over it. You did not tell me this. Oh, I'm excited. I love bacon. All right. <laughs> Season, right? Don't mind the singed hairs on there. Add a, add a texture and flavor. Cheese, I would say that's seasoned. You're probably not supposed to season in the bowl you're cooking in, but it'll just add extra goodness to it. Okay, now what do I got to shove it in, in the butt? Um, onion, how much of an onion? Third of a cup. Like, just do a quarter. Into in like little pieces. So Banji, you're telling me I just gotta cut this thing up? Yeah. There we go. All right, and this goes inside. So, shove it in there. And then celery, how much celery are we uh, sticking in there? Cup. Probably like a half, stock. that's probably like a half a stock. Huh? Sure. I'm really curious, does doing this actually enhance a flavor of like the meat on the outside? It's I got to. I mean, they do it for a reason, I Yeah, assume. I know. It's maybe aesthetic. Maybe it's not actually flavor. Maybe it's flavor, I'm not sure. I feel like if it sits in a liquid, then yes, because it kind of infuses it. But if it's just like on the grill, yeah. then I don't see much point to it. But, all right, celery. I think I can make it on an episode of Chopped. All right, celery. This is a lot. This is not. How big of a duck are they using? This is, I don't know if this duck's capable of handling this much celery. Cover the pan with this. Oh yeah, cider. So you pour that. How much? Fill the bottom. It says. Okay. All right. So apple cider. Yeah, just cover the bottom of the pan. That's good. You now you get your bacon. All right. Thank you, cheese and rice, for the bacon. Go ahead and just nice little blanky. Look at that. We're tucking this guy into bed. Now this adds flavor. This I'm all for bacon. Anytime you say add bacon, I'm in, guy. So that's two pieces right there too. I about double dipped. Split this up. So this just lays over it. Oh yeah, we're going. We're going four deep on this one for sure. And then is that it? Yeah. So we cook it for 25 minutes like this. We take it out, take the bacon off. What? And then put more apple cider on the duck, and then you put it back in. Wait, you don't eat eat it with the bacon? I don't think you eat the bacon. Why would I waste good bacon? Whose idea was this? I'm leaving the bacon on, whether you like it or not, guy. I like it. That's what I'm saying. All it's right, fine. we're eating it with bacon. So, is it pre Not quite. All right, we're waiting for that okay, to preheat. We can make our uh, currant sauce, red currant sauce. For this? Yeah. Guys, Chef Boyardee over here. He's, he told me you didn't want anything boring. That No, I did, I did say, so. I said make it, make it beefcake bougie. What is that? Oh my God. What is this good God. for? Well, it's not like you're making a ton of sauce. Let me go ahead and beat beat my eggs over here. Like it's starting a freaking fire. What? What's that strap? What? What? Is, is this really for something? You yes. just do, why would you use a fork? Is this different than a fork? Red plum. Forgot plums were a thing. Give me a cup. Close enough. Yeah. All right. Now like plums. I, I kind of forgot they were a thing until now. So not really. Two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, we can just eyeball this one. Okay. Two tablespoons. Grated rind. Oh, uh, what? An orange? Or, yeah. Ooh, zest. This is way too much work. They gotta sell this thing in a jar. Somebody's gotta sell this. In a I looked, I gotta find it. Really? I mean, I'm sure it's not as flavorful, but it's, it's a whole orange. I mean, you don't have to do the whole orange. Really? And that, and a lemon. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Ah. Oh. Squeeze that. I'm down. 
Ooh, who do you think I am? The Hulk? You feel this? It feels like a you freaking gotta roll baseball. It. You gotta roll oh. it. Oh, this one's, is this one softer? Oh, that's way softer. Use that one then. All right, so. That one is hard. Roll, roll the lemon. Oh, rip. I bet a blowout. I was making sure it was rolled. All right, so. <laughs> it smells like lemon now. Hey, I. It smells oh. good. Two tablespoons. Do you want the lemon juice, sir? We have one of those. Yeah. I'm in. Oh, God, yeah. All right, here we go. Look at that juice. Ooh. What do you think? That was probably one tablespoon. All right, go ahead and juice. Oh god, yeah. Ooh, okay. We got your zest. This is the bougiest thing in the world. What one else? tablespoon of orange liqueur. How much alcohol is in this? Take a little. Thirty shot. proof. Take oh, fifteen percent. Take a little shot. What one tablespoon? Yeah. That's pretty good. Nice. You just stir that together and you serve that with the duck. With it. Yeah. Like Not on top of like it. Like a dipping sauce, I think. Really? Okay. That is get a better. I like the sound effects. You gotta. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her mixed up here. All right, go ahead and mix all those ingredients. A current. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've heard of that. I'm never. I'm not too sure about this. I don't know. It's gonna be strong. I can tell you that yeah. much. Like if you throw a zest and straight up lemon juice in it, like it's gonna be getting after it. You're. It's a really a dipping sauce. It's not just something you throw over it. Yeah, I would think, I think that's a hell of a dipping sauce. Like that's gonna be just that'll smack you right in the face. Well, I guess all it says is serve with duck. All right, I, I would so. assume you like just pour like if you slice the duck, like pour it over the top of it. So I guess you can call it dipping. Yeah, but it's not like a chicken. Just nugget. didn't really say. Yeah. All right, we're gonna call that good. Oven's ready. How long does this guy go in for? Roast the duck for 25 minutes and then remove bacon and then you're supposed to put apple cider on there and then return the oven. Oh rip! What is that little guy? Okay. Oh, puppet. Anyways. All right, now he's going in 25 minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay, how do you start a timer on this? Timer on. Bingo, 25 minutes. Okay, what is next? All right, you gotta make sure your pheasant's dry, which mine's not. Let's go ahead and set it down on some paper towels, dry these guys off. I think there should be two two whole pheasants in here, so four four breasts. Oh yeah, these look these look juicy. This, I'm actually more, I'm pretty excited for this. Even though it's not that bougie, I just know it's gonna be freaking really good. Lucy's really hyping us up over there. All right, go ahead and throw these guys down. Interesting. What's Preheat it? the oven to 200. 200? That, yeah. What's that gonna do for you? Are you sure, wait, you put it on it, you sear it? That's to make the bacon crispy, huh? You don't make bacon crispy at 200 degrees in the oven, right? Not 200 degrees, I didn't Yeah, that. so it must be, you must, you must to sear finish, it. Like, You're gonna have orange on this whether you like it or not. I'm That's fine. You, know, you got some zest, spillage. All right, take your pheasant and you just wrap it. Try not to get it to clump too bad. Let's see if we can get this to work. Should be able to use one strip of bacon per pheasant breast. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap the rest of these guys, and then they go on the stove top, right? You're gonna crispy the bacon on that, I think. Boom! Well, there you have it, folks. We've got the pheasant on the skillet. I feel like we didn't need to add oil, because I kind of know how bacon goes, and I feel like you don't really need it, but it called for it, right? It said put it in oil. Yeah. So I'm following the instructions according to Banza. So it said a few minutes. Yeah. Probably just crispy up the bacon. Yeah, now I'm really questioning why we added it. You're basically just frying bacon, and then you're gonna bake the pheasant. Maybe that's a strap. Maybe you add oil to bacon. Definitely not a strap. But we're gonna crispy it up, flip it a few times, and then throw it in the oven at 400. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. 30 minutes, check on my goose. It looks like a goose. Uncooked goose. Yeah, it's a rare, that's a rare looking goose. Oh, oh I like man. the hair, the hair looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, goose isn't uh, burnt yet. Uh, let's go back and see if our bacon's down. Oh yeah. I think we gotta do everything bacon. Cook the bacon like you would normally cook bacon. It looks way better. That is a long ass thong. So I'm not going to get burnt out here. After this, we're moving on to the deer, right? Yeah. Which I think just cook it like a steak. Wild know? game for this. Wild game, yep. like a steak. Just sear it and uh, bacon wrap. No. Oh, get me excited. I don't want to bacon fat. 
Oh, that's, that's how you that's sear right. it. We're gonna sear it in baking fat and then finish it with wild game. That's gonna be that's gonna be good. Alright, going back on the pan. Now that that bacon is crispy, I go turn that all the way off. Yeah, yeah. All right. Like, I feel like if you let these things rest for ten, like they're really not that thick. Yeah. Did, were you sure it was pheasant, uh, uh, pheasant tenders, like pheasant breast? breast? Yeah. Really? Because I feel like these have got to be pretty darn close. Like if you let these things rest for ten minutes, I would be pretty shocked if they're not done. I don't want to overcook it. That's the only reason why I'm. I mean, throw it in for like three minutes and just see. All right, we're giving it three minutes then. How's that? Ooh, that duck's looking pretty good in there too. All right, we'll give it give it a few minutes. So I don't need all that grease. That's probably gonna do it. Crank that guy up. And this is how we're gonna cook our deer steak. All right, here's the steak of our deer. I'm gonna dry this thing off. And then start with all meat, transition to wild game for a finisher. All right, so your, your all meat's gonna be the starter, just like that. Oil's not hot enough. Crank that up. All right, I've never cooked a deer, I mean, I don't think I've ever cooked a steak in general, just like this on the stove top. It's kind of thick, so it could be, we could do the same, oh, Fresh take these out. Could be the oh, same strap. That was three minutes. Was it really? Yeah. All right. I would say these are going to be done. We're going to just set these off to the side. That looks good. Dude, that it's looks. Got to be done. That looks really good. So this might be one of those things where you sear it and then throw the pan in the oven and finish it. So it is a pretty thick steak. Pheasant is done. That's the first dish of the day that's complete. Pheasant. So we're going to let these guys rest. That's going to be. You kind of cut those up almost like appetizers. Yeah. Wouldn't be too bad. Put it on a stick and it's like an affair. Pheasant on a stick, he says. And we still have an hour and a half on the turkey. Goose, not turkey. Goose, eight minutes on this, or you have to unwrap it. And 25 more minutes. We're gonna be waiting on this goose. Woo! All right, she's looking good, folks. She's all seared up. We're gonna go ahead and throw her in the oven at 400, because that's just where it's already at. Our duck's only got three minutes, so actually I'm just gonna take that thing out in three minutes. Cover it, let it rest, it should cook through. I'm gonna cut into this guy and see if we're gonna get salmon vanilla. No, I think that's it pretty, looks so it looks good. cooked. Oh yeah, she's cooked. Perfect, cooked to Perfection. Go ahead and plate this guy up. Dish number one complete, pheasant. All right, timer's going off. We're gonna go ahead and just set that guy down. This guy, on the other hand. Ooh, God, I just about died. Ooh, woo -hoo. Dude, that does look good. Look at that. Yeah, I'd say don't, don't leave the bacon on. You don't like that. Bacon looks pretty good to me. I don't know about you. Take your bacon off, which is an absolute disgrace. The bacon has been removed. Yes, just pour some of this on there. Pour this on top yeah, and then put it back in. Yeah. For how long? Uh, I think like I'm just washing all the bacon flavor. 25 off. to 30 minutes. Really? It says until uh, lightly golden brown. She's not golden, or she's and she's not brown, so she's gonna go back in for another 20 or so minutes at 400. Our deer is resting. Still haven't tasted the pheasants. We just realized that. The, pheas the difference between the pheasant and the goose is like two hours. So we're just gonna have to kind of eat as we go. The end, we're gonna save the ham. We've got pies, we've got sides, we've got stuffing, mashed potatoes, all that stuff. That's gonna go with the goose, the ham, and that's it. So ham and turkey are pretty classic. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing goose and ham. This is all just pre-game, you know? Duck is going back in for another 20 or so minutes. And then at once that we take that out, we gotta go dump our glaze on the goose. Appetizer one. Pheasant. Bacon wrapped. Did we season this or did we just bacon wrapped it? We just bacon wrapped it, didn't did we? we? just bacon wrapped it? I think we sure. did. Yeah. All right, cut off some nuggies. I thought you were going in for that whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. And you get pie crap for big bites. Oh God. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. This might top everything we've ever ate. This literally might be the greatest thing we've ever cooked. Wow. And it was two ingredients. Oh, why, we were messing up. Bacon wrap. Give me that. Give me that yeah, get that end. That end's the best. There's a lot of bacon on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pull I'm cutting off you a little end piece, so you're going to enjoy yourself. That's that's one you need. That's the guy I need to get. Yep. Yeah. Stick that meat right in your mouth. That's a good appetizer. Ooh. Yep. That's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think we, we've been messed. I think we, we were going to restructure our entire plan. Every time we bacon wrap duck or anything, it needs to go on the pan, not the grill. Everyone messes up with the jalapeno poppers on the grill. Pan, sear it. Crispy. I've never had crispy bacon around meat. Never had that. It's always kind of soggy bacon because otherwise you overcook the meat. You got to put a little olive oil in it and sear it. Crisp. We're going to get full on this. This is absolutely is fantastic. Delicious. Next up is our deer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that juiciness. That great. Mmm. Finish it off with a little bit of that. Oh, look at this. Dude, look at those drippings. We're, we're juicing right now. 
She was almost about to be overcooked. What are your thoughts on that one? I had really good. Is it is it decent or is it not? I bigger? love deer. Really? Mmm, it's a little chewy, but it still tastes good. A little chewy. Yeah. I am getting a little game though, which I'm kind of surprised about. Just a hair. Just where I'm like, it's not beef. Yeah. But it's pretty good. What would you say is better so far what we've had? Okay, that feels a little better. Pheasant. I'm team pheasant. Yeah. Yeah. I got a game on, I got gamey. Just a little bit. Hint of game, which is different because all the deer that we've kept, caught, clean cooked hasn't had game. This one's got a little bit of game, I will say. It's not bad. Maybe it's that hair in it. I'm sure hair probably doesn't taste that great. It's not bad. Decent. But I will say, so far, pheasant has taken the dip. Got it. All right. Hey, I was like, ooh, she's golden crispy. This is our first big entree of the day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks fire. That's golden crispy. I've never had like whole duck like that before. It still smells like Banjo's burnt hair. My burnt hair. Yeah, you burnt this one. This was the oh, yeah, this was the questionable dipping sauce, right? Yeah. Just put like half. Let's on put some on top and then leave leave some for for Duncan. Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we'll let that we'll let that chill for a minute. Let it soak in. We're gonna let it finish. Let that soak in. Let it cool down. How do you even? You just gotta like start. Yeah, like how do cutting you, it? Just, I mean, I know how to cut the breast out yeah. at least. I don't know. You just, I'm kind of interested to see if like the legs. I don't think I've out. ever had duck legs. I never have. Yeah, we usually just breast them out because like when you see their legs, they're about an inch long. So I don't know. We'll let it cool off. See what it tastes like. You ever get pie in the face? No. If I just did that, would hurt. This is apple. Next up, pie. Our. I had no idea pies. Like I would've been like, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, <laughs> an hour. Why does a pie take an hour to cook? I'm not sure. This is dough legit. It's kind of hard. It's pretty tough. So what was this? Mary Calendars. Marie Calendars. Mar you can't read. Marie Calendars. All right, pie going in the oven. We're hoping this is gonna be done right around the time that our really? goose is done. But all right, there she goes. In she goes for. Let's do. What do you think? Start with 45 minutes. Boom. Pie is in the oven. Let's cut this duck up. All right, I'm gonna cut this like I would rip. I'm gonna cut this like I would a duck like that I just shot. See if I can get that breast meat off. See what it looks like. Okay, all right. It's definitely not overcooked. I don't think so. No, I think we're good. I think we're chilling. Oh God, yeah. I think it's good. What do you think? Yeah. You don't look too bad. <laughs> I'm not sure about the stench. That, I, I, if I got that at a restaurant, I'd, I'd probably tell them to. Kick, kick rocks or something. I mean, that is what duck looks like, though. Like, yeah. it's not... Okay, so let's go ahead and just we'll do some small. Mm, look at that fat. The, the fat does look pretty good on it. Are you going... Let's go no dunk out okay. the gate. Okay. All right. I mean... Better than most of duck. It tastes like duck. Like, you, you definitely be like, that's duck. It's not, like, overcooked, though. No, it's no, not, no. like, chewy. No. But, like, definitely has game. It has gamey flavor. A lot of game. But I think like when people buy or like order duck, that's they're they're there for the taste of a duck. Like you don't order a duck to taste make it taste like steak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What about this dumb game? All right, that that's the deal. The current sauce. Okay, okay. you gotta always make a current sauce. Mm-hmm. It takes away every. It takes away all the game, entirely. I got a little too much. <laughs> he went too deep. I went way deep. Really? It's really good. It's just. A lot of orange. The trade-off. Thank you. Mm, not bad. <laughs> really? You don't like really? it? Really? That's a lot of orange. I did just a, just a light dunk. Just the tip? Yeah, but he dunked the whole thing. Way better. Oh, rip, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of orange. So These guys are just, I, I feel like I went deep on mine and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> You're about in tears. He's about to. He's about to start crying. <laughs> it's just a lot. Millie, you want some duck, buddy? All right, all right, all right. My fish was awfully gamey. It's gamey. Yeah. A full dunk with the tippity tap. No, so that's gas. <laughs> you must just love orange. <laughs> How's that? It tastes like duck. It's not bad. Would I prefer to make it into duck turkey or bacon wrap it? Yes. It's not bad. I'm gonna cut off this little chicken wing for banjo here, though. Dang, that's awfully tough. Oh, that's awful. I'm not gonna act like that's good. He says I'm not even gonna put on a show saying that's good. All right, good. now I'm actually like down to some meat. <laughs> Was that just all fat? I think so. I think you just ate all skin. All right, I'm still not. Oh. So the leg's not it, huh? That's disgusting. Like, really? You gotta try it. I see why no one does it now. You know, I understand why no one does it, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> there was a bone in that piece. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to call my dentist? I think I need a. Uh, I need something. <laughs> Alright, no more doc. We're done with the doc. <laughs> Legs aren't it. Like the whole thing, honestly. Just I, breast it out. Cook it normal. I'm like now I'm like nervous the goose is gonna taste like butt. <laughs> yeah, it's not that good. Like it's it's okay. I think I can make it taste better just by breasting it out and turning it into That like, was a lot of work for it to taste like that. Exactly. Yes. That was a, a lot, lot of work. work. Alright, the duck uh, duck is on the bottom of the list. So far, pheasant, deer, duck. She Look at that goose. I hope you taste better than your friend the duck. The duck tastes like butt. So we've got our concoction here. We're gonna go ahead and just give her the old drizzle here. God. Oh yeah. All right. Now, leave it for another hour. An hour. Check on it. Now we don't we don't have a probe. Couldn't find them. Like I got like ten of them. Lucy chewed them all up. We don't have a portable like little battery powered one. So we're gonna have to take a guess. Hopefully we don't eat raw goose. The duck turned out fine, so we're just gonna follow the same recipe and hope for the best. Shoo! Look at that pie, banjo. I've never That's seen a better pie in my life. Thing we eat today. You know why? Because we didn't make it. Oh man! No thing we messed up on. No ice cream. Trap. Whipped cream. He was on grocery list. I blame banjo. That's my. That's True. my bad. It's done. We've, the goose has been in for two hours now. We don't know if it's done yet. You're iffy? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go look do at wanna, it. Do you wanna just check it out? Yeah. How are you gonna know? We don't have a probe. Book it. Really? So you just take, just cut, we'll just cut out a little bit off. Okay. We'll, let's just take it out. Let's go see what it looks like. Cause we don't want it overcooked. Otherwise it's gonna taste like poop. So let's give it a gander here. Oh God. Dude, it looks good. I'd say it's getting closer. I don't know how to tell. It looks done. Getting closer, yeah. It, I think it. I think it looks okay. I would say that's done. It, it doesn't look very red. Woo! Oh yeah, I, she's definitely done. We'll get her in the the lighting here. <laughs> Smells like goose. Oh yeah, it was a good call pulling it, banjo. That means that means definitely done. Oh yeah, it looks way better in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it. I wouldn't even color it. I think it might. It might end up over. No, we're not. We're not gonna do it. Oh, I don't want to overcook. Do it? Oh, I okay. think it. It looks done. <laughs> Millie. Look at this. That's done. Dude, that looks good. There's no red or nothing in no. it. We'll let it rest. Looks good. But the one thing we got to do, we still got to get ham done. We still got to get mashed potatoes. Stuffing. I think that's it. Glaze. And, oh. Banjo found a recipe for the glaze for the smoked ham. So what do you think is going to take the longest? This just has to be heated up. Yeah. And what else do you have? We have stuffing. That's about five, five minutes. minutes. And mashed Bob potatoes. Evans is about five minutes. They're probably all about the same. Probably all about the same. This is stove top turkey stuffing. You like stuffing? I love stuffing. I really? The whole thing. Bring one and a half cups of water, quarter cup, before you margarine to a boil. Oh, see, that's this is gonna take the longest. We gotta boil some freaking water. You gotta get deep. Why are you so angry? Millie, why are you so mad? You just about did it. Oh are you out of your... All right, anyways, hey guys, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the Thanksgiving B-roll sequence. Starting left to right, we got mashed potatoes. 
we've got stuffing, a whole freaking goose, ham, rolls, pie, and then, uh, what was that? Uh, brown sugar honey glaze. Glaze for the ham. Okay, we gotta start off with this though. Cheers. Thought you were gonna do a toast. Nah, I'm alright. Ooh, slaps. We gotta start with the. I think the goose is the strap. Or do you wanna plate? I say we get a full plate. Thanksgiving, you gotta, right, you gotta right, build all right, it. Alright, alright, plate it up, boys. Nothing like five minute box oh. stuffing, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Mix in some of the butter here and these mashed potatoes. Nothing like Bob Evans either, too. That's. Millie, Millie. Why is your dog like She's this? She's so grouchy. This is why you're an outside dog. We don't let you inside. Oh, we didn't do gravy. We kind of messed up on that. I thought about doing like a gravy, but. Gravy's pretty easy. I didn't know if you wanted white gravy or brown gravy. Brown. Who does white gravy? No one does. Only for biscuits and gravy do you use white Good. gravy. There's like a country. I love it. I don't like oh, white gravy. Like a, like a peppered country fried steak. But, yeah. Brown but if gravy. you're if you're Brown. at Thanksgiving and you're using white gravy, get Ooh. the get out. Get, Not allowed. Get out of here. Not allowed here. Sweet succulent Hawaiian rolls. These are the greatest things ever. I could eat these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, we got a nice roll here, dude. You know what? This is gonna. Be, I already. I think I said this earlier. Put the ham on this. Leftovers. Oh, that's better than just the it meal is. in and of itself. Okay, get some butter. You ever seen one of these Wait, doohickeys? What? Look, look at Huh? Look at the butter. Why is there water in here? It, it keeps it fresh. Suppose, it oh, creates, I got this saw. It's a butter bell. Yeah, no, it keeps it fresh because it create the water creates a suction and keeps it fresh. So you like your oh. butter wet? No, it's not soggy. Dude, look, the most spreadable butter you've ever seen. All right, rolls, check. All right, we got to get into this. This goose is just calling my name. We got to roll, roll up our sleeves for this. I'm not sure about this one. Give me an apple out of there. You, you want to just take a, take a bite of the apple? I'm going to. Here's your piece. Goodness. It actually doesn't smell bad. I think it's going to be good. It actually doesn't smell bad. All right, all right, all right. We're going to... I don't know if it's overcooked. It's kind of tough. Give me an apple out of there. Can you see an apple or not? Yeah, right here. That's not an That's apple. That's an orange. <laughs> yeah, put that on my plate. I'll eat it. He's got goose apple. All right, set this off to the side. Wait, is it not red anymore? No. Ew. Ew. Ham. What do you think about this? It looks really good. I think we're gonna, oh yeah. It cut really good. Yeah, it did. I think that glaze is gonna be pretty good too. All right, I'm going in for it. This is the main course. This is goosey. Hmm. All right. Ooh, got some move. I need to dunk it. Yep. All right, here we go. It's really too. You think it's overcooked? Probably. Maybe a little, but it tastes really good. It surprisingly tastes good. That fat? Yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's a little drier than the duck, but it doesn't have that kind of gross. You're gonna get drunk before the end of this video, guys. I love that stuff. I say this is the best goose I've had because I usually make jerky, which yeah. jerky's good, but it I'm tastes impressed. just like the duck, but minus the game yeah, taste. Yeah, not gamey. But it's the just same a little chewier. meaty flavor. All right, all right. So decent. We're going in for. I'm going. I'm going naked ham first. I'm going apple. I'm going deep. No, no. There's no way that's good. That was sitting next to. That was God knows where. You know, I was up there with an onion. What does it taste like? An apple. Like a cooked apple. Uh, that's fire, dude. All right, anyways, here's the ham. Oh, it's cold. Prepare yourself. Dude, fire, though. That's good. Mmm. We need that, that glaze. That glaze is necessary. Even though we didn't, like, cook and cure it, really, like, that might be the best thing that I've put in my mouth today. That's got, I, I think so. That one might have to take that's a up kick. there. With this, I think so. There was honey. There was Dijon mustard, brown sugar, did I say that already? Butter. Butter, and butter. All right, here we go. Well, it's hot. That freaking hot. Watch out for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that was really hot. I thought it was just a little hot. My, my lips are, I think they're numb now. It's the honey. Starting to peel. It tastes like honey. It tastes a lot like honey. Yeah, yeah, wow. You don't that, taste that mustard? No. No. I don't know what the point of it was, because I don't taste it at all. That it's mustard, good. that's weird. All right, Hawaiian roll going in. Gas as always. Look what I'm doing. Oh, he's already going for it. Yep. Oh, with the sauce too. Don't do it. Oh God. But I'm gonna let it wait because that was really hot. That was really hot. All right, we're going for Banjo's five minute stuffing. Okay, it's actually better than I remember. I, I'll, I'm hungry, so I'm definitely gonna eat more. But pretty good. Bob Evans. Kind of cool. As this, 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 this critic here. So 
That the best thing about Thanksgiving is eating that. I'm telling you, go get Hawaiian If you've never had it, you're freaking missing out. Take turkey, cold turkey or ham from the previous day. Little gravy on there, sliders. Ten times better than anything you ate on Thanksgiving. I guarantee it. Well, that means we've only got one thing left to try. We we are gonna continue to eat because I'm hungry, but I'm trying to work through this video so you guys aren't here all night. I know you want to get back to you guys eating, your family, stuff like that. So, hey, so you want to cut the, the pie? I don't really know how to cut a pie. Okay, well, I gotta go get a knife. Go get a knife. Minus the pie because we know that's gonna be fire. Goose, ham, I mean, these are side. I would say ham, goose, duck, deer, deer pheasant. R rank them. Best to worst. Ham with the glaze. And it's number one. Yep. Then pheasant. Then pheasant. Then goose. Goose. And then the deer. Deer and, and the duck. I will 100% agree with that. I'm really surprised that the goose beat the deer. Yes, I am too. The deer, it just, it, it tasted a little bit gamey. This is actually pretty good. I gotta do something though before we- You do the leg. You, I that's all get, you. Cause it might not be as dry. Oh, hey, Rick. Is there a BB? Hey, chew on that. Ooh, that guy, that's a big dog too. Rip. Hit him right in the leg. Goodness. All right, don't ever hire me to carve a turkey or anything. Cause I'm Use gentlemen. a knife. That's yeah. Okay. scary. All right, all right, here we go. All right, you gotta try it. It might change your mind. Maybe, 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 maybe. That was way better. I honestly, I think that tastes better than the ham. Wow. I think so. Well, eh, better than the pheasant. Better I'm gonna move pheasant. it up. I'm not, okay. I don't, ham is really tough to beat. This, this, well, this is your piece. I'm saying this, the leg. That was really, really The good. leg is where it's at. The, the, Super juicy, yes. tender. Juicy, tender, flavorful, didn't taste anything. I'll agree game. with that. It was more tender than the pheasant. Yes. I think the ham's gonna win just cause ham's fire in general. But for what we've, we went out wild game wise. So ham is the only thing that's not wild game. We raised the, the pigs. Wild game, I'm gonna give it to the goose. Yeah. But it's the leg, not the breast. The breast, not that great. The leg is where it's at. Pool jet, you gotta, you gotta be the deciding factor here. Stick that little piece of meat in your mouth, guy. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's a slippery little guy. Yep. He's, he's got fat yeah, on him, but it's the good stuff. He's a slick guy. That's not bad. What do you think? That's pretty better, good. Than, better than duck. A little chewy. Was yours chewy? Maybe mm -hmm. you got a bad piece. Because the piece that I got was like filet mignon. Yeah. Definitely better than the duck. Better than the duck. Yeah. The, the duck was not good. Try that guy. Oh, okay. Really? Was this an orange? Yeah. Who cut this like that? Uh, Who cuts an orange slice like that? You got it. Come on. How was that? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Not good. Ugh. Not not good. I don't like that. That's okay, okay. Good. All right, you need to try the ham because you gotta help us decide the ranking. So far, bands are on the same page, but you might flop. You might say the peasant's better than something else, maybe. So you gotta try the ham. Let us know. You going, you going sauce or no sauce? Um, let me see that knife. I'll cut it into two. No sauce. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's a little cold. It's cold. Yeah, it's sorry. Pretty good. It's decent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not bad. Tastes it's like ham. Yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty good. I feel like Poor Jet's not impressed. He never is. Yeah. You're hard to impress. What do you think? You don't like that? It tastes a lot of honey. I'm tasting that mustard. Really? I don't I like mustard. See, I didn't get any. I didn't get it. Don't you eat the roll. Those are the good rolls. See, so I, I, I'm not, I don't like mustard, so that's probably where it is. Rip. Mm -hmm. So, okay. It was The ham is really good. The though. ham itself is mm -hmm. good. Oh, yeah. So, on, on is, is the ham better than the goose? Yeah. Take that back. Is the ham the best? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so from wild game, so take out the ham. Take the ham out, goose. Goose is the best. Yeah. Better than pheasant. Mm -hmm. So then it's goose, pheasant, deer, duck. Yes. We all agree. We're all on the same page. Yes. Goose. The duck is definitely last. Duck was that garbage. Was don't mm -mm. don't ever do that with the duck. I, the goose was pretty good. The breast meat, it's okay, but the, the leg meat was really good. Pheasant was good, but it was a little dry. Ham is always good. So that's pretty much what we've got. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, Wait, Rip. Are you trying to end this without the pot? I about outro it without the pot. Just really? Really? Rip. Ooh. Look at that. You got blew it out. What is this thing? My, jo my jaw's gonna lock up. <laughs> it's not a sensitive trigger. You hang gotta on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Give it a yank. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now I gotta figure it out here. Ooh. <laughs> you can put that thing in your mouth. <laughs>
Jeez, I'll get one of those I think I touched the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Party foul. Finale, nothing like a take it out of the box and throw it in the oven pie. Mmm. Well, it's still warm, too. Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow. This might be my favorite. I might, I, yeah. This might be my favorite uh, dish of the day. That's good. Anyway, so you guys are uh, ready for me to wrap this video up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Not sure if I would do it again. I mean, it was good, but it was a lot of work to go out and harvest all of our animals. What time did we start? Do you we remember what you said? It was 6.30. 9.30 right now. Yep. Three hours. Three hours of cooking. A lot of work, but it is nice. It, it's a good change of pace. We changed up recipes for the animals that we go out and harvest on a daily basis. Most of the time we turn goose and duck into jerky. Um, deer, usually we send off to get processed. Pig, obviously we send off to get processed. Oh, Fe pheasant. And pheasant. I mean, pheasant's not a common thing that we have either. I just have some from our last pheasant shoot. Usually we don't have pheasant in the freezer. But overall, it's good. I say goose, wild game, took the double, which is good because that was kind of like the main focus. Ham was really good. It was all really good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you guys want to do your Black Friday shopping, coming up soon, all fishing gear related, everything at GoonSquad.com is discounted using promo code DANGLE. So get your dangle on, get your stuff for the holidays, for next spring fishing and all that stuff like that. It'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. Peace.